What's up Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel and today I'm bringing you a review, my full review of the Tactile Knife Co. Rockwell. And you might be saying to yourself right now, but Jamie you just got that. How can you do a full review of it? That's a good question. Well, I did have my buddy Craig's for a month, nearly a month. And uh, so I have a lot of uh, hands-on experience with it. And this one hasn't left my hand since I got it. I've had this one about a week now. But now you're probably saying to yourself, but you haven't sharpened it yet. And uh, there's no way you've sharpened it yet. So how can you review it? Well, you're right. You'd be right there too. I have not sharpened this knife yet. Um, but my buddy Brian sent me this. This is the Tactile Bear Slip Joint. And... Um, he said he knew I was thinking about buying a bear and said hey man I've got one if you want to check it out I'll send it over to you and I was like yeah, of course I want to check it out please send it and he sent it to me and then he's like hey uh, I already shipped it but just so you know I hadn't sharpened that thing it probably needs an edge put on it how do you feel about sharpening a magna cut and I was like or have you ever sharpened magna cut and I was like nope never sharpened magna cut and he's like you want to sharpen some magna cut and I was like hell yeah I want to sharpen some magna cut so I sharpened this this bear and it took a screaming edge man it takes a screaming edge I will say this about it though it takes a little more work to sharpen magna cut it takes a little longer um, I, sh I started it on um, it wasn't that dull honestly it wasn't very dull but I started it on 600 diamonds then went to 800 diamonds. Then I strapped it on green paste. Then I strapped it on the white paste. Then I strapped it on Gunny's half micron diamonds. And uh, it took a nice edge. I don't know how well my camera will pick it up here, but I will try to get it to pick up. It took a nice edge, very nice edge. But this video is not about the bear. Um, I do have some more news for you though. I like the bear so much and the Northwoods Leather Co. slip so much I've already ordered one of each. So I ordered a slip and a bear already. So literally within ha having this knife in hand, this bear in hand for I don't know 10 minutes I went ahead and bought one. I knew I wanted it pretty much instantly. But this video is not about the bear it is about the rock wall. This is the golf rock wall. And I like this so much that I want to get the other rock wall, the one I had borrowed from Craig with the regular milling. I'd like to have one of each. This is a fairly new company. Um, well, they've made pins for a long time, but the Tactile made pins for a long time, but Tactile Knife Co. is a fairly new company. And these guys, man, I'm telling you, they're doing some pretty impressive stuff here to be so new. Um, and, you know, they're one of those companies that's new enough. If you want to, like, try to collect, you know, one of everything... It's not too late for that. Uh, it's still pretty early on. When I say one of everything, I don't mean one of every color and, you know, but like all the milling, I'd like to get one of each of these. There's three available now. The original, this one, and then there's some other one I can, that I can't even remember which uh, website did that. But anyway, let's talk about this one in particular. Um, I'll get some close-ups of it to start with because it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean gorgeous yeah check that thing out I gotta tell you guys you know, all of those knives Craig sent, there were two that I just couldn't put down. Uh, the Quiet Carry Drift and the Tactile Rock Wall. Those two knives, you saw all the knives he sent. There were some seriously nice knives there. But those two are the two that just, I could not get enough of. And um, this this knife, if you get the regular one without the golf milling, it's 300. This one's 330. But, uh... This is made in America. It's got it's some of, it's one of the nicest knives I've ever had. Honestly, I can't think of anything that's nicer, that's better done. This thing is so well done. The fit and finish is freaking fantastic. The action is a 
freaking amazing. You cannot fail this knife. I cannot fail this knife. I've repeatedly tried to fail it and cannot make it fail. Once that detent breaks, that blade's coming out. There is no failing this knife. It's pretty much impossible. And check out these thumb studs. Even look at the detail they put into the thumb studs. I'm assuming they get this from their pins. You see how it's got that milling around the thumb studs there? Like spiral milling around it. Hopefully that'll focus for you guys. But, yeah. Like spiral milling. I'm assuming that they get that from their ink pens. I want to pick up one of their ink pens, I think. I've never owned... I've never bought an expensive ink pen before, really. Most expensive ink pen I've ever bought is a, a Tucson uh, titanium, which it's, a, it's okay. Nothing wrong with it. But I'd like to get one of their pens to go with the knife. And now that I got the bear on the way... I also uh, ordered, a, I ordered a matching set, a, a slip for the bear and a wallet from Northwoods Leather Co. So, Troy over there, he's a few weeks out, so it'll be a little while before it gets here, but that's all right. Um, the bear will be here before the slip, but I just won't carry the bear much until I get the slip for it. But, look at this. Let me try to fell it for you guys. I'm trying, I promise you. I'm trying to push as lightly as I can push. Uh, it fell there because I pushed so light and my thumb, thumb came down and caught the blade. Same thing. That's the only way it will fail. And that's not really a fail. That's just me trying to push so lightly that my thumb is catching the blade. My only complaint about this knife, I only have one, and it's not really a complaint about the knife, it's just how the knife is designed. It's meant to be sleek and slender. The thumb studs are a little tight to the scales. They're not a little tight, they're really tight, right? I mean, they even notched out in the scale an extra little notch in there for the thumb stud to land. So, with this knife, this is one of those you push up. You don't push, you can push out, but it's a little tight to get in there. But if you push up, the blade just fires right out. Same for the reverse. It's easier when you're not under the camera. Lefties would be fine with it. Although, the pocket clip is not reversible. I'm not sure if you can order a left-hand model or not. I'd be surprised if you couldn't. Because if you look at the backspacer, the backspacer is designed for right hand. They may make a backspacer for the left hand. That's all they really need to do is just sell a left-handed backspacer is what it looks like. I could be wrong about that, but I think so. The action, not just the deployment, but the close. I have not put skiffs in this knife or anything yet. I do have a video of installing skiffs on this knife. Well, on Craig's knife. I have ordered skiffs for this one. Um, and it did improve the action. But the action's already really good, I mean... It's such a lightweight blade, but one decent shake. And listen to that ting on the clothes. Listen to that ting. I'm gonna stop talking so y'all can hear it, hopefully. I slammed it down too hard that time. It's got a great ting. Ting. It's such a good looking knife. This is a, you know, I did that five for 500 video. Um, I didn't own this at that point in time, but I may take out the AD 20.5 and cheap out on the other four knives to make this my gentleman's carry. Because um, this is the ultimate gentleman's carry right here, in my opinion. This is about as good as it's going to get. As good as I've felt anyway. It's just so good. I, I highly recommend If you have not got one of these yet and you're able, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, I'm in no way sponsored by Tactile or anything like that. I'm just telling you, this knife will not disappoint you. It is made so well. And to think they're so new and they're hit knocking it out of the park like this so early. The access to the lock bar is good, or the liner lock, even though it doesn't look like it would be. I have no problems getting to it at all, and it's buttery smooth. under the camera keep hitting myself in the thumb with the blade I have not locked put any Loctite on my pivot yet because I'm waiting on skiffs to get here it's one thing I will point out to you is I've been playing with it so much that uh, the pivot is getting loose from time to time 
but as soon as I put skips in it I'll throw some Loctite on it and that'll fix that right up you can tell it's getting loose look at the blade and this, see how out of center it is right there Window, not even an eighth of a turn right there back to center just barely turned it so keep that in mind if you get one of these uh, and you're not going to put skiffs in it go ahead and lock tight your pivot um, but if you, obviously if you're planning to put skiffs in wait till you put skiffs in then lock tight your pivot I have put some pro shot in here um, just to uh, see if it helped and it did help it wasn't quite as drop shotty it didn't come with a whole lot of lube on the pivot um, but you know I, I just used a doodad and got in there and put some in right here and then put a little bit on the detent ball and it just loosened right up instantly with a little bit of lube you can see how loose this thing is I mean once you break that detent it's coming down all right let me give me some specs on it real quick um, pull them up here and uh, all right overall length is seven inches uh, close length four inches blade length 2.84 inches uh, it's magna cut blade uh, HRC is 60 to 61 and ceramic ball detent ceramic ball bearings flat grind uh, stainless steel lock bar insert stainless steel pocket clip and uh, it's an inset lock so pocket clip works perfectly it works really well actually um, I'm debating polishing this whole knife put a high polish on it at least all the edges and the pocket clip I think it I don't know if I do this one I'm gonna do the bear also Whatever I do with this, I'm going to do with the bear. I'm going to make them a matching set. It's my plan. And I've debated doing some anodizing in these divots here. Make it look like rain. It'd be really tricky to do it, though. It'd be so tricky to pull it off with the way these edges are milled right here. Because I'd have to sand all that out. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know, man. This thing looks so good. I may just leave it alone. It doesn't need any color added to it. It looks so good. I love this knife. All right, let me give you some size comparisons real quick. Uh, the Benchmade bug out did get those scales installed. I was doing something wrong. Um, I did a little short talking about that if you want to check it out. The Benchmade Mini Crooked River. Pretty. The, almost. It's a little bit shorter than the bug out. Not by much though. The Mini Crooked River is a lot longer. Uh, what else we got here we can pull out? How about the Christensen Knife Works Maverick? And the Brown, the, the Jaeger. You know what's going to sound crazy? It may sound crazy to some of you guys. Out of all three of these knives, I would pick this knife. Hands down. No doubt about it. And it's made in the USA. What more can you ask for? How about we pull out... It's so nice having other people's knives here to use for size comparisons. The TRM Neutron. Another fantastic knife. Those are about exactly the same length. Obviously, this is a lot wider. Another fantastic knife. Overview coming to that one soon. And let's go ahead and do the AD 20.5. And we will do the Yojimbo 2. Where'd, it, where'd my Yojimbo 2 go? No, there it is. Yeah, it's a smaller knife, but long, you know. I'd call it full size and length. A little bit slender, though. Go ahead and do a couple more. The uh, Mini Bet Liger. Bet Liger. Liger. Kaiser Bet Liger. Mini Bet Liger. And the Picaroon Tools Mutineer. Those two are pretty good comparisons. The Bed Liger is probably the closest thing in size here. Width, it's a little bit thicker than the Rock Wall, but not by much. This is one that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I thought this was a bigger knife. This is Craig's. He sent it in for me to check out. So is this one.
I really thought that Mutineer was larger than it was. I don't know why. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pull out one more that probably very few people actually have, but I just like to look at it. I think it's a good looking knife. The Sandra Knives Torino. Those two are good size comparisons, actually. Very good. Yeah, love this knife, guys. You cannot go wrong with one of these. I've had two of them in hand now, and both of them were just freaking fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see what these guys do next. I would love it if they make something a little larger and, uh, you know, something a little wider. Maybe a, a worn cliff or a sheep's foot blade. I just, that would look killer in this. A freaking warning on this knife. That would be amazing. Do some different blade shapes. I think they could pull off a sheep's foot. I don't know if they could pull off a warning with that backspacer in there, but they could definitely pull off a sheep's foot. The action is just fantastic. It's so good. It's hard to reverse flick under the camera, but with the reverse flick, you just push out and up. Because it's so tight, you just kind of push with the meat of your finger right there. And it fires. I mean, it fires. This detent is so good. To be... The Rockwell is like one of their first knives, right? I think it is their first knife. I think the flipper version was their first. They just nailed it right off the bat. I felt knives from companies that have been making knives for decades that don't feel anywhere near this good. These guys deserve their props. And I know $300 is a lot of money, but when you consider what other American-made knives are selling for that aren't using this, these materials, that don't have anywhere near this level of fit and finish or the milling. Um, for instance, if you wanted to get something like this, a TRM Neutron, with these types of scales, you're looking at quite a bit more money than this. So, um, or, you know, in that price range, you're looking, a Shaman is up near that price range, getting close to it. Um, you know, it's just, these guys, these guys are killing it here. They're gonna be so successful. They already are, I'm sure. I'm sure they're making just boatloads of money, and I hope they continue to make more boatloads. Cargo ships of money, you know. Put some more stuff out. I cannot wait for their next design to see what it is. Now I gotta get the uh, the rock, rock wall flipper. I wanna get the flipper too, so I have one of each. Uh, have this one, have the bear, have the rock wall flipper. I really wanna get the regular rock wall too, only because the milling on the regular rock wall is going to match this milling, and I think they'll pair up nicely. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's going to do it. Do you guys own any uh, tactile knives? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you as impressed as I am? I'm so impressed. And you will see a review coming of the bear very soon. Um, it won't be this one. Actually, this will play a role in it because I have sharpened this now and felt it, but. I will have my own shortly, hopefully by the end of the week. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Good, good stuff. It's been a while since a knife got me this excited. Um, yeah. And honestly, when I first saw these and saw them on YouTube, I didn't think I'd like it too much. I didn't think I'd like it. And then Craig sent his, and I got it in hand. And I'm like, oh, man, it's just so good. And so I bought one then I bought something else and then we'll buy something else so yeah they're that good guys they're really good you cannot go wrong highly recommend all right guys leave a comment below if you have one of these and what you think about it uh if you're new here subscribe and turn your notifications on and if you uh, enjoyed the video hit that like button for me and it help, helps the channel get spread around to other people and helps it to grow so thank you guys so much I really appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you on the next one